not too bad out this morning. Let's check and see what the temp was. Put it on the screen for you. Oh. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> Mickey was the last one out of bed. He's the last one to go out this morning. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. So I'm feeling much better. I still have a little bit of drainage and stuff. What a horrible past couple weeks. <laughs> my daughter got sick after me too. Yes. My daughter got sick after me, so she's finally back to work. <laughs> my Can you tell all the boys are groomed up? They're not as floofy anymore. No, you're not as floofy. Suffer Grant and I still gotta do Marley. I still gotta do them. <laughs> Yes. All right, last kick. Last kick. Grant wants to go in. As Grant wakes me up every morning around 8 o'clock. Between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. Today it was 8 o'clock. Yes. He starts doing his little Indian dance in his crate. He starts snorting. Wakes me up. All right, you guys ready to eat breakfast? You ready to eat breakfast? Yes? Okay. <laughs> is everyone waiting patiently is everyone waiting patiently there's Marley he's always in the corner over here waiting yes alright I'm going to sprinkle some <clears throat> lean turkey meat green beans, peas and carrots Put a little bit of turkey meat on the kitty food. Grant is whining. Grant is whining. Are you whining, Grant? <laughs> Just a little extra something special on their food. Mickey's bowl is green because... He gets a different type of, he gets a uh, urinary uh, tract formula food so he doesn't get crystals or stones in his bladder. So I just put just a little bit, not a lot, just sprinkle it around the top. And this is Grant's bowl. He's been doing okay, not eating too fast. All right, <laughs> there's Grant's Indian dance, bouncing up and down. Yes. All right, now that everybody ate breakfast, it's time for medicine. So we've got all of Mozzie's medicines here. Um, Grant's medicine and eye drops. Milo and Max's allergy medication. And then I got some cheese to put it in. And then this I've been using on Milo's feet too due to his allergies. Um, so he doesn't get a infection on his feet. So, because even with his allergy medicine, I've noticed when it's wet out, um, like with all the snow melts and everything, he really likes to bite it. It's clean, lick, not really bite, but really lick at his feet um, when his feet are wet. <clears throat> it's like he's furiously trying to clean them or something. Um, 
So we've been using those wipes in the morning uh, to help, and it's really been helping. So, so yeah, so let me get all the meds doled out and get Grant's eye drops in his eyes. I thought I better mention, uh, in case we have new subscribers that don't know why Mozzie takes all his pills. Mozzie has, um, he had his gallbladder out, so he takes a pill for that. He has uh, cholangial hepatitis of the liver due to his gallbladder being bad. And he also has Cushing's disease. So all these medications here um, are due to all those issues in which he's doing really good. You're doing really good, Archimazi. He goes on the 9th to get blood work done. He gets blood work done every three to four months. And he's been doing great for the past year. They've gotten all his medications worked out. And the right dosages. So um, I just thought I better explain why there's so many me <laughs> medications for Mozzie. In, in case anyone's new. Grant also had his gallbladder out. So he takes a medication from having that removed. And then he has dry eye. So um, he gets eye drops twice a day. Yes. So now let me get these medications served out. Where's Mozzie? Mozzie. <laughs> Someone commented on a video uh, when I was letting the dogs out of the back door. They said it's like they're heading out, running out to a magical land. <laughs> yes. Like you're running out to a magical land. So now I always say, do you want to go out to your magical land? <laughs> 35 degrees right now. It was 31 earlier when I was saying it felt warm. <laughs> yes. That's warm. That's warm when it's been so cold, huh? I think it's supposed to get up in the 40s today. 42, 41. Yeah. Grant's, Grant usually goes back to bed after he gets his pills. Yes. Grant goes back to bed and the other boys want to come back outside. So I'm outside with him because it's nice out. I need some fresh air. Yes, I need some fresh air. I noticed it seemed to help. <clears throat> uh, when I was having my sinus infection, just getting outside and just breathing some fresh air. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was, uh, that was terrible. Uh, the past couple weeks. Uh, my husband being sick. But then me and then my daughter. She's just starting to feel better. She went to work, back to work. Um, she had taken a couple days off. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it was the C word or not, since we all got sick, because which is which is weird. If it was just sinus infection, which I know those are catchy too, but usually when one of us has a sinus infection, we don't all get sick so close together. <laughs> so not sure not sure but glad i'm feeling better so happy so happy so yes so i'm gonna watch these guys see if anybody does their business see if i gotta clean it up and um i'm gonna go in and eat myself some breakfast and get myself together for the day i'm gonna groom i'm gonna groom marley i don't know if i'll do grant today i'll probably do him tomorrow because like i've said before Oh, hi guys, there's my shadow. Um, Grant takes me almost all day for him because I have to take so many breaks with Grant um, because he hates being groomed. <laughs> and I gotta groom him on the floor. It's the only way he's comfortable with it. So I think I'll get Marley done today. Give him a bath, scrub him up good, and uh, get him shaved out. And the reason why I'm shaving him down um, with a number 10 blade is because now that things are melting and everything's getting wet and the ground's going to start on thawing i don't want so much hair on them uh because of dirt dirt and wetness coming in the house um you can imagine with seven dogs uh, if their hair was really long like i know a lot of people keep on their schnauzers with the belly hair the long belly hair the really long beards um and the long leg hair Think how much dirt 
and nastiness would be coming in and out of my house uh, with as much as my boys like being outside. My boys are outside in the spring when it's warm out. They're outside all the time. So think of all that mud and dirt coming in my house. So <laughs> I wanted to get them cleaned up, get them short for spring. So. All right, guys, I got Marley all cleaned up. He got a full bath. And then I um, washed everybody else's faces. I figured I might as well wash their faces. How often do you guys wash your schnauzers beards? I wash mine about every three, four days, I think. <laughs> Mickey's got his frisbee. Why are, you, why are you bringing your frisbee to me? Mickey brought me his frisbee. There you go. <laughs> he brought his frisbee in the other day. Um, so, before I start grooming, I was getting my grooming supplies out. Before I start grooming Marley, uh, well, and I should mention, I did not give Grant a bath or wash his face because he's getting groomed tomorrow. So, I figure I won't put him through it twice. <laughs> yeah, he would not be happy. So, I got a letter and some gifts from Davey and Peggy. And they sent me this cool t-shirt they had made. Look at that. It says dog mom, and then it has all the dog's names in the paw prints. Isn't that so cute? I can't wait to wash it and wear it. Thank you guys so much for that. They also sent a couple oven mitts for the dogs to play with, because if you don't know, my dogs like to play with oven mitts on my hand and play tug of war like that. Uh, I actually bought them some Easter uh, oven mitts. I'll have to get the Easter stuff I've been buying for their um, Easter baskets I'm going to make. I'll share that with you too. Um, they also sent me the letter. Um, I want to see their dogs, uh, the schnauzer they had, who sadly is passed now. Um, I want to see their, his whole name. And I think I've mentioned this name before. Um, oh, I got the pages in the wrong uh, order. Um, his name was Baron Murphy von schniffer but we called him murphy it says and they sent me this ornament of murphy um with the angel wings they thought i could hang this on my schnauzer tree and i definitely will it says in loving memory of murphy definitely will hang this on the schnauzer tree thanks so much for that he was so handsome yes um Okay, and then, um, so, and they also sent me another gift in the box. Thank you guys so much. Um, and then I got this postcard from Mile High Beach. That is their YouTube channel and their Instagram. They sent me a happy birthday postcard. And it says, uh, their boy, their boy Charlie is a little camera shy. If you see there, he's looking away. <laughs> I checked out your channel and I subscribed. And they have a video about, um, taking a pet and they're full-time RVers. I didn't mention that. They're full-time RVers and they share uh, videos about RV life on their channel. And they have one dedicated to how Charlie is adapted to RV life. So check them out. Mile High Beach. There it is right there on YouTube and Instagram. So I like your channel and I subscribed. Thank you so much for the postcard and the birthday wish. Um, and then I got this card from Renee. She also sent me a gift. Thank you so much, Renee. Um, with all the doggies. Look at this. All doggies. She said, sorry, it didn't have a schnauzer, but she thought it was cute. And I think it's cute, too. So thank you so much, Renee, for the gift and the card. I appreciate it so much. All right. I'm going to get to Grim and Marley. And, then, and the dogs are looking at me right now. Let me get my camera. These two are staring at me. <laughs> These two are staring at me wanting to go outside. Yes. Yeah, you want to go get your clean, nice uh, looking beards dirty, don't you? Yes, yes, you do. All right. Might as well let uh, Marley out before I start. Moving. There he goes. There goes Grant. <laughs> the squirrels have been out. And active today. So the boys have wanting to, they've been outside multiple times since this morning. Multiple times. 
because squirrels are everywhere, running across the back of the fence, going up the pine tree. So they've really been wanting to go outside today. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. I'm going to get Marley groomed, and then we're supposed to go see. My husband is moving offices. He's moving to a bigger office. So he's supposed to get the keys today. I haven't seen it yet. And then he's supposed to take me in, um, show it to me. So look at Marley, he's peeing over. It's going right over Mickey's ball. And they're probably all gonna do it now. But uh, yeah, he wants me to check it out, see if I should steam clean the carpet. Um, yeah, so he's moving on up. He's moving on up in his real estate career, <laughs> in his real estate life. Yes, he is, I'm proud of him. All right, guys, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Sorry, guys, I almost forgot to show you what I, uh, I bought the kitties and the dogs. So, we got two Easter gloves, oven mitts, to play with the boys with. Um, we got, where did I get these? I got these at the Christmas tree shops. They were a dollar each, so I got two, because... They're not the most heavy duty ones, so they'll probably get torn fast. <laughs> and then we got this big old toy for the boys. We got this at TJ Maxx. We got a carrot rope toy from TJ Maxx. When you see uh, Easter themed dog toys, you gotta get them right when you see them. Don't think, oh, I'll grab one later, because I know Easter's not till April what April 17th April yeah I think it's April 17th not sure um don't think oh I'll get it later because they'll be gone yes they will and then we got this rabbit toy from TG Maxx um I think that's it for dog toys so that's the dog toys I've gotten so there's what one two three four five so I need two more and then we found these kitty toys at TG Maxx Yep, of course, some mousies. Mice, sorry. Mice. I call them mousies. <laughs> uh, these toys, too, which I'm sure the dogs will play with, too. Yeah. <laughs> and then this uh, egg has a little bunny in it. A little Easter egg. And then a couple other little toys in there. So, yeah, that's what I've gotten them so far. Because I'm going to... I don't know if I'll put it actually in a basket. I can't remember if I have a basket that I put their toys in or did I use a gift bag? I can't remember. But so far that's what I've gotten. And then I was thinking about, get, I bought some new treats. Let me get them out of my cupboard. I got these new treats I tried out for the boys. They're by Lucky, by L they're Lucky Premium Treats. Made in the USA, 100% natural. And they're um, called Sweet Potato Straws. And the crude fat is 0.1%, very low fat. So if you're feeding your dogs low fat diets like I am, due to being prone to pancreatitis, these are really good uh, low fat treats. This is what they look like. And the boys, <laughs> the boys are surrounding me. Can you see Magnum's ears right there? <laughs> here is the bag. Um, here's what they look like. They're not hard. If you can see, they're bendy, so they're kind of chewy. So they like them. So I'm gonna get some out and I'll give them a treat. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, it comes with quite a few treats. I've given them quite a few out of here. This bag was $31. I think I got it on Amazon. Um, so it's quite expensive, but if you don't have seven dogs, this bag will last you a long time. You could even break them in half. Cut them in half if you wanted to. They're about they're about six inches long or so. Uh, they flat they lasted quite a while uh, for having seven dogs. What are you doing, kitty? You trying to get your you trying to get your Easter toys already? No, no. Let's put these up. <laughs> You're gonna get the dog's treat, so he wants a treat too. You come looking for a treat too? Oh, Mar or Monty, you're scraping up my leg. I'm trying to climb up my leg. I gotta put these toys up. Okay, let me get my camera and we'll give the boys a treat. All right, here's the other one behind me. 
All right, let's give you guys one of your sweet potato straws. Here, Max. Oh, Mozzie. Okay. Here, Max. You didn't have to try to take my finger, but <laughs> there you go. Okay, we're going to have to find Mr. Grant, and I'll come back for you, kitty. I'll come back for you, kitty. I think Mr. Grant ran back to his house after he went out. Yep. We enjoy those treats. Let's see here. Grant, I was looking for you to give you a treat. Here you go. Mr. Grant loves them too. Yes, he does. <laughs> All right, kitty, let's go find you a treat. You're already done, Magnum. You guys are already done eating those treats. Yeah. Treats don't last long. They, they, they scarf them down. I don't even know sometimes if they, they really chew them. Do you got one stuck in your mouth, Max? Is it stuck in your tooth? You got it? Okay. All right. I'm going to find the kitty a treat. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again soon in our next video. See you guys later. Bye.